Hey guys, Guitar Slam here to put up a deck list for you. I got my camera fixed, so I should be able to start putting up videos again. This is an armed dragon deck, just for fun. I made it out of cards I already had, so I wouldn't have to buy anything, but I really enjoy playing it, so let's get to it. First card in the deck is Five Headed Dragon, a 5,000 fusion monster. Uh, fusion material monsters are any five dragons, and he's just the beat stick, and I use Dragon's Mirror or Future Fusion to get him out, and I'll talk about that later. The next card is three Armed Dragon level threes, 1200 attack. When this guy is face up on my side of the field during a standby phase, I can send him to the grave to take an Armed Dragon level five from my hand or deck and special summon him. But he doesn't really survive well just in attack mode with 1200 attacks, so you have to protect him somehow. Or use Mass Dragon, which I'll get to in a bit, but he sets up a lot of the speed for the deck. Then after him is three Arm Dragon level 5s. Uh, 2400 attack. You can send a monster from your hand to the grave to destroy a monster on your opponent's side of the field with equal or less attack. And when he destroys a monster during the end phase, you send him to the grave. You can send him to the grave to special summon a Arm Dragon level 7 from your hander deck. And he can be tribute summoned. He doesn't need to be brought out by Arm Dragon level 3, so that gives him a little bit more versatility, but he's the monster I use on the field most of the time, because he's uh, easy to get out and pretty strong, and it's just a good card. And then the last of the Armed Dragons is one Armed Dragon level 7. I can send a monster from my hand to the grave, and destroy all monsters on my opponent's side of the field with equal or less attack. He has 2800 attack, and he's brought out by Arm Dragon level 5 only. He cannot be special summoned in any other way, or normal summoned. So, he's kind of a, he's a dead draw completely, but I really like this guy. I pulled him from a booster pack, and he's just really cool to get out there. And then you have three Masked Dragons. This card really helps speed up the deck when he's destroyed by battle. I can special summon a dragon with 1500 or less attack. So that could be another copy of himself or an armed dragon level 3 depending on the situation. And so he helps me get out my combos quicker. Then we have one twin headed behemoth. 1500 attack so he is be he is able to be brought out by armed dragon no by mass dragon level my mass dragon I'm sorry. And um when he's destroyed by battle, you can special summon him from the grave, but his attack and defense are 1,000, 1,000. So he could be tribute summoned, you know, either time. When he's brought back, you can tribute him again. So you could have him just as a wall and then get another wall during the next turn. Or just a dragon for a five-headed dragon. One Mirage Dragon, 1,600 attack. When, during the battle phase, my opponent can activate traps while this guy's face up. And so that's good to protect any of my monsters, because almost all my monsters are dragons. And, um, it's just another dragon for five-headed dragon. You'll see some of the, a lot of the dragons that don't go to the armed dragon, I use those for five-headed dragon. And we have one tyrant dragon, 2,900 attack. If I special summon this guy from the grave, I have to tribute a dragon monster. And if he destroys a monster and my opponent's out of the field and there's another monster, he can attack again. I have this guy in there just really as like a security clause in case I'm really desperate and I need power on the field. And I usually don't tribute for him. I'll use Mausoleum of the Emperor to try and to get him out much easier. But he's there just in case. Then I have two. Luster Dragons, 1900 attack, 4 star. He's just a vanilla beat stick and used for 5 headed dragon. Now we have one Sangen. This is, uh, you know, when he's destroyed, you take a 1500 less monster and add it to your hand. So that could be Arm Dragon level 3, Twin Headed Behemoth, Mass Dragon, any of those cards that help set up my combos. Or Neospatian Grandma. 900 attack, when he's attacked or is attacking, I, during the damage step, I can activate his effect. 
and both monsters are returned to the respective owner's hands. Kills synchro monsters, and is really good if I just need to attack through for game or something. One exiled force, just tribute him, destroy a monster on the opponent's side of the field, just uh, monster destruction. And a snipe hunter, roll a six-sided die, two, three, or four, or five, destroy the card, but you have to discard a card from your hand, and it's just more card destruction. So that's it for the monsters. Then we go to the spells, we have two level up. This allows me to select one of my level monsters, whether it be Arm Dragon level 3 or Arm Dragon level 5, and I automatically get to level up that monster. I don't have to uh, fulfill its level up requirement. So this helps speed up the deck again. And I have one Future Fusion. I activate this, send cards on a, listed on a fusion monster as fusion material to the grave, and then in two turns I will special summon that fusion monster. So I can get out five-headed dragon easily with this, and this will combo well with Dragon's Mirror, which I'll explain right now. I get to remove dragons from my field or grave as a requirement for a fusion monster. And so I could send monsters with future fusion to the grave and then remove them with Dragon's Mirror. Or if I just had enough dragons in the grave and on the field, take a special summon five-headed dragon. I have two stamping destruction. If I have a dragon on the field, I can destroy a spell or trap on my opponent's side of the field. And uh, my opponent will also take 500 damage, so it's um, good spell and trap destruction. And then I run one Mausoleum of the Emperor field spell. What this allows me to do is pay 1,000 life points for each tribute a tribute monster would require, and I get to normal summon it without tributing anything. So that's mainly how I get Tyrant Dragon out, or occasionally in Arm Dragon level 5 if I just absolutely can't tribute. Swords of Revealing Light, just stalling for three turns can also be used with Arm Dragon level 3 so my opponent can't attack and I can level up without having to worry. One Brain Control, pay 800 life points to take control of my opponent's monster. This will allow me to tribute for Arm Dragon level 5 usually. Run 2 Shrink. I can have the attack of one of my opponent's monsters. So I can, this could be protection for Arm Dragon level 3. My opponent attacks, I chain this, have its attack, Arm Dragon level 3 will usually survive. Has to be lower than 2400 for it, for Arm Dragon level 3 to survive, but that's what you have to do. And um, it's just good protection. I like having him in there. One Pot of Avarice, I send, or I put five monsters from my graveyard back into my deck, shuffle and draw two cards. Gives me a little bit extra draw power and lets me reuse my arm dragons and my mass dragons. Terraforming, this allows me to search for Mausoleum of the Emperor. Smashing Ground, Monster Destruction. Fissure, Monster Destruction. Lightning Vortex, discard a card, destroy all face up monsters my opponents have the field. Massive Monster Destruction. Heavy Storm, destroy all spell or traps in the field. Uh, spell and Trap Destruction, clearly. Monster Reborn, just lets me special summon a monster from either grave. And the last card in the deck, and the only traps, is three Good Goblin Housekeeping. I really like this card, even though it's not very popular. What it does is it allows you to draw cards equal to the number of Good Goblin Housekeeping cards in the grave, plus one. So even if you don't have any Good Goblin Housekeepings in the grave, you can still draw a card. But then you must take one card from your hand and put it at the bottom of your deck. And while if you don't have any good goblin housekeepings in the grave and you draw one and put one back at the bottom, it's not that great. If you can get two good goblin housekeepings in the grave, you'll draw three cards for the price of putting one back in your deck. Not to the grave, just back in your deck. So if you had to shuffle again or something, you'd have a possibility of redrawing that card. So I think it's a good draw power card, and I had three, so I thought I would put them in. And that's the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a just for fun deck. And I hope I'm going to be able to get up some duels with this. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed.